So those of you that have watched my content for a while might know that outside of Genshin and uh, Withering Waves content, I am a professional photographer and videographer. This is actually the camera that I use for the green screen video. If you've ever wondered why you can see everything because it's coming from a professional camera. And I've shot a lot of stuff. Everything from just like regular portraits to uh, glass blowers to underwater free diving photography to landscape to animal to ice carvers to hotels to a lot of different things. But one of the things that I really want to get more into is like cosplay photography, right? I love taking portrait photography that's not standard portraits and you can actually see some of the photos that i've taken i always have one underneath me on like my tiktok live stream so if you've ever seen this photo below me during a live stream that is a photo that i took of melissa my wife and this photo shoot kind of stemmed from us going to a ren fair and her wanting to dress up and during all that we also talked about me getting more into cosplay stuff but she has also wanted to cosplay for a long time. She's never really had time because of her work, but now she has a lot more free time and she's actually going to start cosplaying. And there are a bunch of people that have wanted to see the, the vlog style cosplay journey videos that a lot of people make, a lot of professional cosplayers make. Um, the, we've never done. So this is going to be the first video of that kind of, uh, cosplay getting ready vlog style stuff and the first thing that we're actually going to work on is going to be the wig now you can see above me this side above me there are two wigs up there one of them is the kazuo wig that i actually wore in kazuo's video not during his last rerun but i think the rerun before that and then beside it is another wig now this is the wig of the first cosplay that melissa is going to do and we need to prepare it for the photo shoots now Somebody in my community, Wonton, whose uh, socials will all be down below and I'll tag them on TikTok, uh, has been giving us advice and telling us kind of what to do to get this wig conditioned. So we're going to make a video on that because a lot of people have asked for this kind of video. That's what we're going to do today. So we're going to get this wig, gosh, wrong side again, this wig, and we are going to uh, work on it following Wonton's instructions and also kind of talking to Melissa getting her thoughts on some things because she's not been in a lot of my content. She may have appeared once or twice in a stream uh, whenever she, we like dyed my hair. She's uh, one of the players in the again, the Genshin D&D campaign, which we need to get back to when one of the players sorts some stuff out. She's been in a little bit of the content. So she's been there, but never prevalent. And this is going to kind of put her right in the center of all that stuff. So with that being said, let's, I guess, let's go get, uh, get working on this wig. Okay, so due to technical difficulties, uh, I've had to swap cameras. So, and now I'm handheld the camera that I showed off in the beginning. So, we're going to start over. Here is the wig before we start doing anything to it. I'm trying to show it off a little bit. Okay, so what did Wonton say? So, we're supposed to take warm water, put it in the bowl, it's warm, not hot, and then put two to three pumps of conditioner into the water mix it up and then you put the hair in the water, in the bowls. You put the hair in the bowls and let it soak for... <laughs> All right, are we good? Okay. <laughs> um, you let it soak for like two to three hours. Ma'am. <laughs> We're gonna let the hair soak for two to three hours, um, and then we'll take it out. Do we rinse it? One time didn't say to rinse it. We'll follow up. <laughs> we'll follow up. We'll follow up and find out. One time, I hope you answer me in the next couple of hours before we get to that point. <laughs> uh, if not, I'm sure Google can answer. Why Google when we have a one time? Well, I said if not, that would be why Google, because if one time don't. Wonton's socials will be down in the description. Go follow them. <laughs> so, um, obviously, right, I just took the ponytail off. It's just clips. Or pigtails. Pigtails are clips, which is nice. Because this, this whole thing is very heavy. Um, but, so right now, it doesn't look bad, right? The ends are a little bit tangly. All it's been through is shipping at this point. There, this is supposed to help with like the knotting and stuff that you see towards the bottom. And then it's supposed to give it a little more shine. Which right now, honestly, it's pretty shiny. But we just wanted to be a little bit more flexible and to be able to style it a little more for when it's time. Great, let's make the potion. The potion. 
Okay, so the conditioner that we are going to be using, I'm gonna move her cup out of the way. And there, this is our actual conditioner. Uh, this is what we actually use. So we're gonna hope that this is gonna be a good one. You can, from what I know, you can use whatever conditioner. It doesn't have to be anything special. So we're doing two bowls, one for the pigtail, one for the main wig. Yeah, one for the pigtails. Tails. There too. And then one for the wig, and one for the main piece, just to make sure that it gets gets in there nice and good. Gets in there nice and good. Gets in there nice and good. Make sure it's fully saturated. Make sure it's fully saturated. Make sure it's. Do be sure. Do be sure. I know you make fun of that. <laughs> Do be sure to make sure that I don't know. We weren't told this. I'm just gonna assume that you would want to make sure that you're using large enough bowls um, to lay the wig out instead of like bunch it up into the space. I don't know, I'm sure you could like use a whisk or something, but. You're gonna whisk the conditioner? I feel like it's not that serious. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. I think uh, the pigtails are gonna go on the big. The shallower one? Yeah. Yeah. So I can just like lay them down. Yeah, I agree with that. I just don't want them to get tangled together or for the clip to mess up because it's in water. I don't think, no, the clip shouldn't mess up just because it's in water. It's not like the salt water, it's not gonna corrode or anything. They stayed on pretty well, I mean, yeah. considering. Oh, it looks so weird now. Okay, so at this point in time, has anybody guessed what the cosplay is? Mm, what could it be? And if you have guessed, good job. If you didn't think to guess, the answer is free run. The answer is free run. And free run will be your very first cosplay. Yes, it will be. Why free run? I just like it. <laughs> it was a good anime. Um, I feel like it's also like a good first try. I could get the entire outfit on line and get it here pretty quick and easy and it had decent reviews. Um, and I've always wanted to cosplay, but um, I, when I thought about cosplaying like throughout the years, what I thought about was like stuff that I would make myself um, and to a certain extent like the version of Free Run that I'm doing is fairly simple like her entire outfit and everything is fairly simple um, throughout the series so I don't mind having this be one of the outfits that like I purchase instead of make because I'd honestly rather get to the point where I can make the more intricate things. Um, so it's a, it's a good starting point and we'll see how I like it, what I want to do with it. If it's, uh, if it's getting the pictures done or if it's actually going to some of the conventions. We'll see, we'll see where it goes, but for now. It's a good start, and it's a good anime, so if you haven't watched it, you should probably watch it. What's your uh, top five favorite anime? Uh, <laughs> we talked about this the other day. We did talk about this the other day. So, Ancient Magus Bride is always going to be one of them. Um, is Chise somebody you'd cosplay? Yes. Konosuba? It's got to be one of them, um, and I probably do... Zach's not going to be happy. You're not going to post this. <laughs> All right. Nope. What's her name? Not good representation. Explosion! <laughs> um... Starts with an M. It's Megumi. Megumi. I, I literally, I wanted to say Yanfei, and that's not right. That's a different explosion, girly. 
And then, and then you said it starts with an M, and I was like, oh, Mau Mau. No, that's Apothecary Diaries, which is another favorite. Um, <laughs> it's all gonna be fine. Um, so I, I would do Megumin from Konosuba. That's only two. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, yeah, well, three, including Free Run. Did I say Demon Slayer? You, okay, so the other day when we were talking about this, we talked about... Slime was not one for me. No, um, we also talked about... Uh, JJK. JJK, we talked about Demon Slayer. We also talked about um, Mishoka Tensei. Yes, and I would be Sylphie. Yeah. Why did I remember Sylphie right off the bat? Yeah, I don't know, we've watched more Konosuba than we've watched. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I love her, too. Megami? Yes. Yeah. Um, Would you ever do Darkness? No. Wow. I don't think so. The war continues. The war continues. I... Nope. <laughs> but you, you think, would... You think Darkness is best, girl. I, I don't agree. But you'd do Mau Mau? How many of the outfits that Mau Mau has? You know what's has? funny? What? I would do Mau Mau, but I might would also do the guy. Oh, um, Jinshi? Yes. Jinshi? Jinshi is Withering Waves. That's either, I think it's Jinshi. Okay, well, yes. You would do Jinshi? Mm -hmm. That'd be really interesting. That'd be pretty cool. I don't, I mean, he's, he's a little, he's a little taller than I am, but nothing I couldn't fix with some heels. <laughs> he kind of looks like a lady anyway. What, uh, out of all the outfits that Mau Mau does, which one would you do? Um, the one from, what is it, the ceremony that they go to? The tea party. The tea party where she has to sit in the back and do the tasting. It's like the first time anybody sees her without the her freckles. Garden party. Yeah, the garden party. Um, Oh, I'm sorry. You don't have to post it. I am going to like bleep it all out. <laughs> I'm just going to put something <laughs> up there that just, just says spoilers. I, I, just, I should just be like, <laughs> just make it really obscene looking. And all I'm saying is like what happens in the show. No, I'm just going to be like, she proceeds to spoil one of the episodes of Apothecary Diaries. So I'm bleeping it or muting it. Would you do any of her other outfits? Would that one be like the first and then you'd do another one? That one would be the first. I mean, the only other one that I would do is just her every day. Yeah. It was surprising because in the like opening credits, I thought that I was going to want to do the one from the very end where she dances. Um, but you could hardly see it. I just thought it was more intricate than it was. But after seeing that, was that the last episode? That was one of them, yeah. Um, it it like fit for what it was, but it does not fit her personality. Yeah. Like it doesn't fit um, who she is, and that's kind of why I like her. Which one of she says would you do? Uh, probably second season, like your school outfit. That'd be a good one. Anybody else that you've seen that you would want to do? Maybe not even from an anime that you really like, but you just like that one character? Now, I think, like, the big question that goes along with my content. Is there anybody in Genshin or Withering Waves that you would do right now? I would do Dia. You would do Dia? But that's because I, like, I've always liked the way Dia looks. Um, you haven't met a ton from Withering Waves. No. You just started it. Um, I feel like I'm gonna like the characters from Wuthering Wings, so like the outfits seem like a lot more thought about, I guess. Or maybe not thought about, just like more It's like detailed. closer to like streetwear too, like yeah. it's like modernized streetwear fantasy stuff versus some more like classic traditional outfits from Genshin. I would do your favorite. Oh, Neela? Mm -hmm. What'd you do, Chiori? Is Chiori the one with the 
the yellow and black. Mm -hmm. no. Wow. Wow. You like her character design. I don't. I do. Yeah, I like her character design. I like her personality too, though. I don't know her personality yet. She's sassy and called the cops to come watch her beat up her competitor in front Sounds of cops. Like me. Sounds like you. Yeah, that's why I like Chiori. <laughs> okay. This is it. Now it sits for a couple of hours and then we'll figure out if we have to rinse it. Yeah. And then we'll pull it out and kind of show, see if it looks shinier or um, not. And then after that we wrap it in towels for a few hours. So. For a day. It's a, it's a whole process. Yeah. Okay, so they... Ah! <laughs> okay, so they have been um, marinating for... Uh... Time out, time out, time out. Time out. Start over. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> they have been marinating for a few hours now. We're going to take them out. One time did get back with me and say that we need to do a light rinse off. A light rinse? A light rinse, I believe. Let me double check the uh, the notes from um, Professor Wonton. Give a quick rinse, then wrap it in a towel like a quick cocoon. Rinse. A quick rinse. So all the conditioner doesn't have to come out of it. Correct. All the conditioner does not have to come out of it. Yeah, I think it's a good quick rinse. Okay, all it's warm. And then you can grab one of the towels behind me, or on the other side. Do you remember? Is it parted in the middle? I think so, yeah. I think she's got two parts. She's got two parts? Okay, she has part in the middle. Two that pieces. That is really... What? There's a lot of conditioner right there. Not so much there, it's all here. The bangs? Yeah, I don't think I rinsed them. And you don't, uh, brush it? No, Wonton didn't say to brush it. We're going with Professor Wonton. One time didn't say to not brush it, but one time did not say to brush it. So like however these dry is I'm just gonna go with that. And you can wrap the towel on the shoulder. Cocoon? Cocoon. It's very wet. Ah! Quiet. And I got the other towel right here. You see how shiny it is. Well, that is, that is much shinier before you rinse it. Interesting to see. It'll be interesting to see how it dries. Let me check it out. I think the floor creaked and I thought you laughed. No. You did drip some on the floor though. Yeah, it's fine. It was either. It was conditioner or fabric oh. softener. And like I said, I've heard of people using fabric softener not synthetically. No, I told Wonton that we were going to use like the conditioner that we use on our hair. Wonton said it'd be fine. We uh, let them dry. We'll check them in the morning.
That won't be in this video, though. To see the finished wig and everything, you had to wait for the cosplay. Hopefully we did it right. If we did it wrong, you'll never see this video. If we did it right, <laughs> then... Uh, Important to say to you, even though you may never see it. Yeah, yeah. If we did it right, then cool. You'll see the video. If we did it wrong, you'll never see the video. All right, well, that was 20 minutes on YouTube of us literally being ourselves. So uh, if you want to see more about uh, the kind of journey of this cosplay, make sure that you follow, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I don't know how long it's going to be on TikTok. I did want to show here is uh, the wig. It actually looks pretty good. It is nice and shiny. Uh, it's actually a lot softer too. Uh, the pigtails are out there, obviously they're not clipped on. It actually worked really, really well. And you know that because I'm showing you because like I said in the video, if it hadn't, I would not be publishing this video. Now that might be like the only video we do for this first cosplay. The only other kind of options of videos that we would do would be whenever we get the shoes, I'm gonna have to do some some work on them to kind of make them look more like free runs. And then if she decides I'm not happy with this belt, that we got with the cosplay um so i might make one to use for her to use uh something much much better quality than this one we'll, we'll see if she's happy with this one or if she wants me to make another one and if i do that then we will i'll make a video on that as well uh, and kind of show the process of, of making the belt see if i can remember how to do the leather work stuff that i used to do and then of course we'll have plenty of photos and videos and we're going to vlog the photo shoot as well i already have my camera figured out how i'm going to rig it out to vlog it so we'll definitely be showing that whenever we actually go to do the photo shoot we already have a couple of spots kind of um looked at uh, i gotta go check them out in person and see how they're gonna look but that'll be its own video so if you made it all the way to the end um let me know if that was boring or not because then we'll have to spice up the next one so kooky has green hair i have green hair uh melissa's gonna have silver hair at some point and uh i'll see you in the next one